And welcome to your gold market update chart of the day for today, Friday the 21st of April 2023. Mike Smith, seeing an analyst of gold markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Across the news, of course, we had a choppy session in the US last night. All major indices close to the downside. One of the Fed members' comments hurt markets in the last hour, which at that stage were just trading below neutral. And of course, we dropped off from then. US earnings season and the Fed remain in focus for now. U.S. futures are mildly positive in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally following that weaker U.S. lead. The ASX is down around 0.4%, but off the initial lows, initially down about 0.8%. European markets are pointing to a just slightly lower than neutral open, and the VIX is slightly above 15-month lows, just moving up slightly yesterday. U.S. dollar index trades neutral. The Japanese yen early strength is Obvious after a warm CPI number and strong against most pairs at this stage. Gold has edged higher back to that 2000 level in a choppy session yesterday. Looks as though it's holding today okay. Copper is weaker, but it's holding $4 at the moment. And oil is a weaker again. Also, as we've talked about, all week and near two week lows. Bitcoin also pulled back on that equity weakness. It's holding in Asian markets today, though. Uh, and US earnings continue. We've got global PMI data. Released across the course of the day from Europe, the UK and the US later on. We've already had Japanese numbers and Australian numbers out already. And that Japanese CPI we already referenced. Canadian and UK retail sales are also due. They may impact the local currencies. Let's have a look at a couple of charts of Core RI today. On the SX, we like BLD, Boral, Limited. Construction material stocks doing well today. And you can see there on the daily chart has breached a previous high back from early February. If we're putting it on a weekly chart, lots of potential upside in this, maybe even as high as $5 in the medium term. On the FX front, we're looking at the Aussie yen. We've breached 89.65 pivot level. Uh, continued weakness throughout the session, looking really likely to come down and test 89.67. We break through that and we could precipitate some more selling. So certainly that yen strength today is really worth keeping an eye on. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.